Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, and today we're going to talk about something that's gotten to be near and dear to my heart after watching numerous YouTube videos about people shooting Red Riders. I wanted to explain to uh, the viewership uh, how a gravity feed gun works. On Red Riders, the current production guns are gravity feed. The word gravity should be a big clue. Uh, unlike a spring-fed shot tube that uses a spring to force feed the ammunition, a gravity feed gun relies upon gravity. So when you invert the gun like this, gravity pulls the BBs down to the area where they can get in the gun. And when you drop the muzzle, the BBs do what gravity tells it to do. It runs to the other side of the gun and out of where the BBs feed into the uh, chamber. So gravity feed guns make this noise. This is why they're also called rattle traps. Now, how does that happen? In an older daisy, a bottle cap daisy, a gravity feed daisy, gravity will pull the BB down through this funnel and into the chamber. But there's no mechanical assistance for the BB to actually get in the chamber. Here we shall demonstrate. Let's see if I can get this done. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Oops. So basically the BBs all run down the bottom and then, as you can see, the ramp channels them into the feed tube. The feed tube allows them to get into the chamber. Now, when the, you move the gun from the up position to the down position, the BBs all run away. And there may, oh, look, we've got a BB in the chamber. There may or may not be a BB in the chamber. Mm -hmm. But because there's no assistance in getting the BB in the chamber, then it's always a crapshoot. So when you're using a gravity-fed daisy, you always want to give the muzzle up and give it a little shake at the end of the, of the arming cycle to make sure you've got a BB in the chamber. Now, that's the old school daisies, the ones I like. The new school daisies are a little bit different. This is a shot tube and abutment assembly from a modern Red Rider. And you'll notice it's made out of plastic and some aluminum. And you'll notice that there's a little dot right here. That little dot is a magnet. Deek. And it actually will pull the BB into the chamber. So the modern gun has a technological advancement that allows the BB to ride in there through the slot, boom, and fall into the chamber. And the modern gun also has a hole cut in the top of the receiver so you can actually see the BB. Here we'll uh, demonstrate on our other simulator how that all works. So in the modern gun, when you pour your, when you invert your muzzle, the BBs all run down, just like in the old gun. But in the modern gun, there's a magnet at the base that pulls the BB in so that when you flip the muzzle, for whatever reason, you know for a fact you've got one or maybe two BBs stuck down in there. That's a technological improvement. Now, the other part of the video I wanted to talk about after watching various and sundry people shoot various and sundry daisies is loading. In a rattle trap, I think that the safest and best method to handle a rattle trap is sort of like a manual of arms. You know, you need to keep the muzzle up and you need to keep it above your eyeball level. And one should always put one's glasses on whenever one fires a BB gun. So, the way I've always taught my kids and any kids I've, I've taught on how these guns work best is that muzzle should be up, you rotate the gun slightly, grab the lever, and arm the gun. Oops, this one has no return, return spring. And then fire the gun. Now as you line the gun up, you'll hear the BBs rattle down to the end of the tube. Hopefully there's one in the chamber, we pull the trigger, invert, rotate, arm the gun. That's the cycle. And if you do that, I think you'll discover that you'll get an, a discharge every time you shoot your BB gun. That's all we've got for you today, kids. Shane, Bra Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.